Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppy with Cracking It's D-Boss. Your accent is impressive. It's titled, Megan admits to lying. Young Thugger is free. And his girlfriend, Mariah, reacts. Tory Lane's appeal update. Um, apparently, a lot of people are talking about the situation with Megan admitting that she lied about sleeping with Tory years ago. I, I don't know how this is breaking news. I, I thought we all already knew that. That she lied? Was, was that not common knowledge if you knew anything about the case at all or about Meg and the Tory situation, like, at all? We all knew she lied. I've been clocked her on that. <laughs> like, I, I was very critical of, of Megan around that time. I got a lot of backlash. People calling me a pygmy, a woman hater, whatever the fuck they was calling me. So, I mean, this is not breaking at all. So I'm confused why this is a hot topic. We been knew that she was lying about stuff. I'm confused, but sure. Uh, let, let's see what everybody was talking about and what the clip looks like. Let's watch. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive oh, yeah, Channel. The rapper Young Thug really lucked out because he got himself a sweet plea deal that will allow him to get... Really <laughs> I need to react to the <laughs> All the memes saying what type of music he's about to make now that he's out. Because I guess his uh, his conditions are like really strict. I, I don't know what they are though. But people are saying that he can only rap about certain stuff. I guess that's a part of the agreement. I don't know though. At least from prison. And I'm going to break that down. But I first want to talk do. about what he got locked up for. Oh, now, man. Young Doug <laughs> has this label called YSL. Known as Young Stoner Life. But also Young Slime Life which is also the name of his gang. Now, in the Atlanta, Fulton County area, there have been several people what associated with YSL Why who have participated in serious <laughs> criminal activity, including robbery, gang banging activity, possession of firearms, and also deletion. In fact, one of the YSL deletion. members took the life of a rival gang member named Donovan Nut Thomas. Nut is his nickname. And yeah, this actually caused an investigation on the whole YSL crew. So this whole situation was a big deal because the crime rate in the Atlanta area shot up 60% and they led it back to YSL. And Damn. Young Thug, being the head of YSL, was taken down because he's considered the mob boss and the one who was ordering out hits and funding this whole gang and not to mention they were using some of his incriminating lyrics against him mm. so he was in prison for two and a half years Damn, but and he was hit with the big rico whammy racketeering charges drug charges gun charges he was facing all of them so it was like a big 56 Since count rico case years? which included Sheesh. 26 other members and also the rapper gunna now the rapper gunna took a plea deal earlier and he admitted that YSL was a gang and he was released. Now, a lot of people thought he was a snitch for doing that, which is ridiculous because why would he sit in prison for five years over crimes that other people committed? That's ridiculous. So he got out and a lot of people thought Young Thug was gonna stop dealing with Gunna, but he's not because Gunna is his artist and Gunna was making his label money. So he's going to continue to work with him and he did ask permission to be around him and work with him. So Young Thug took a plea deal. He pled guilty to gunhead. one gang charge yeah. and three drug charges and two gun charges. And he's able to be released, but he will be on probation for 15 years. And oh my if God. he violates that probation, he's heading back to prison. So he has to be on his best behavior. 15 also years. Also, he has to stay away from the metro Atlanta area for the first 10 years of his probation, unless it's for weddings, funerals, graduations, oh, or serious this? illnesses in the family. Also, the judge ordered that he has to visit Atlanta four times a year during his probation to make a live anti-gang, anti-gun violence presentation at a That's school wild. or community organization. So basically, he has to do free concerts, I guess. <laughs> And also, he's not allowed to associate with any of his YSL oh, gang members concert. besides Gunna and his brother, of course. And he can't promote any gang-related stuff. And he oh, has to submit random drug screens. And he can't possess a gun. But he can travel nationally and internationally for work only. So there are a lot of restrictions, but this is a great deal for you. But at least you are. He better brother. thank God for that judge because exactly. the judge gave him some mercy you know he was sentenced to 40 years and he was Ooh. supposed to spend the first five years in prison 
and the next 15 years on probation. But the judge said, you know what? I'm going to let you go. You've been in prison for two and a half years. You don't have to finish the five. Just go. So now he gets to be released Just and he'll go. do the 15 years on probation. And if he does not violate this probation, he won't have to worry about the other 20 years because the judge will consider it time to serve. So he got a good deal. And his lawyers did their big one, too. They worked hard for that money. But Young Thug needs to understand that he really got a second chance at life. Like, this wouldn't happen in another situation. He got a second chance. If so he, he needs to up, commit the to changing idiot his life ever. around. Because if he doesn't, he will be back in prison. Now, his girlfriend, Mariah, the scientist, is over the she's moon. So she's happy because she has been waiting patiently for her daddy to get home. That'd be wild if he drop her. <laughs> All right, thanks for holding down. All right, I'm tired of you. What, what are the other hoes at? That'd be wild. Daddy. Oh, you ain't got to Oh, my God. Am I your baby? Oh, this is so cringy. I don't even see this again. Let's date normal men <laughs> who ain't affiliated with gang activity and you ain't got to worry about this or, or you could do that but or you can do this ghetto shit too it's your life whatever girl to trolls who on their mama wi-fi normal people i don't think people really care like that <laughs> it was like oh damn we ain't gonna get no more thug music all right now nah, i feel like a lot of people kept pushing people made their little comments but nobody was really like whatever girl. what you gonna say now <laughs> nobody cares girl so ghetto. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Know, thank you, impressive. Young Jesus Thug Christ. does right by Mariah the scientist because she really That started. would be embarrassing if you did all that and then a couple months later he leave you for some other hoes, girl. By him. Like but, she really believed he was like, gonna get released. I don't care. She way. showed up for I him. Really I don't. mean it's clear that she loves him, so Gorgeous I girl, hope though. he does right by her. I think she deserves he to can't have do right a by himself. Kaior moment. You know, Keisha Kayor held Gucci down while he was in prison and this is what, and I've talked about this before. It doesn't make any sense to me when women expect uh, men to be loyal to them and to, you know, treat them well and be good partners when they are affiliated in gang activity, when they have ordered hits on people to be murdered, when they have sold drugs. Their moral compass is not, it's not high. <laughs> it's just not a high priority whatsoever. It's just not. In, in their blood to be good people, but you think they're going to be a good man to you? Where is the logic? He couldn't do right by himself. That's why he was in jail and, and facing all that time, but you think he's going to do right by you? When he got out, this might be an outlier. There are always outliers. I'm not saying he is 100% going to do her dirty, but the the statistics are against you is all I'm saying. <laughs> When you choose to be with someone named Young Thug. When you choose to be with anybody who's in this life. Is all I'm saying. But whatever. They got married and had a family together. So I hope Young Thug can commit to Mariah. And apparently he continues to, whatever. to him. But I will be honest. These type of prison love stories are not exactly something to glorify. You know, I know a lot not of young too. girls are going to look at this and think, oh, this is a beautiful love story. Is it? It might be cute for them, but it's not beautiful. It's actually toxic. <laughs> so try to avoid situations and relationships like this, okay? 
but I wish Mariah and Jeffrey all the best. <laughs> now moving on, I want to talk about Megan Thee Stallion because she was trending this week. She released a documentary on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to check it out completely, I but I heard good things about it. However, I know... I don't care about these people. <laughs> Okay, and I, I know it's like a broken record, but I have to state these things when I'm watching these videos. People are like, oh, you're going to react to the documentary? Are you going to... First off, it's long as hell. Not that interested. Uh, second of all, I, like, I wouldn't even do that on Patreon because I'm not interested. But second of all, I don't watch documentaries on any of these artists. I haven't even seen Beyonce's documentaries. You no, know, she got like movies, documentaries. I haven't seen not a second of any of it unless it's been in any of these reactions, like from clips and stuff. That's That's... That's the most I've ever seen. I don't, I don't care about these people. This is my job, <laughs> but I really don't care about these people. And I really don't care to sit here for an hour or two, however long the documentary is, and go into detail about this woman's life and her struggles. I wish her well. I do like her as an artist, but I'm not interested in her life and her personal shit. Of course, I'm reacting to tea and short form and videos like this, but... I, I, I don't I don't care. So sorry to people who've asked me to react to the documentary on my Patreon or whatever. I, I don't I'm not interested. Is that there was one part in the documentary that went viral and it was the part where she was talking about she was really Tory Lanes. Now just to brief you all on what happened between her and Tori, back in twenty twenty, Megan Tori and Megan's ex best friend Kelsey Nicole left Kylie Jenner's house and they got into the car, they started arguing, and the argument escalated into a whole shooting. And Ooh. Tori was the one who was found guilty for shooting at Megan Thee Stallion, and he's currently facing, I think, 10 years in prison right now. Ooh. Now, in the documentary, there was a part that people talked about a lot, and it was the part where Megan admitted to lying to Gil King about sleeping with Tori. I knew that Megan lied. She actually admitted it during the trial. So oh, yeah, that too. To that However, too. I forgot about that. To the general public. Yes, I lied to Gail King. But the first time I know that you didn't even ask me about it. <laughs> but you know we going to talk about this shooting. Why did you ask me about the story? That's not what this is about. Even if I would have to be like once, maybe twice, on a drunk mm -hmm. night. But you kept catching me out of my fucking mind. Did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you, have, did you, Megan? Did you have a sexual relationship with Tori Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um, I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tori. So Megan admitted that she lied about sleeping with Tori, and I understand why she did because at the time she was dating Partisan, and she told him that she didn't mess with Tori. So she was definitely trying to save she face. She didn't want to admit that, and. I get it. As a woman, you don't want to really give out who you're sleeping with. I mean, that's nobody's business for real. So does it really matter that she lied about sleeping with Tori when the bigger issue is she got shot at? It shouldn't matter. But the reason why it does matter is because it actually gives more credence to Tori's narrative. Now, yeah, Tori apologized to, to Megan, but he didn't specify what he was apologizing for. Of course, it's reasonable to assume that he was apologizing for the shooting incident, but that's not the narrative that he put out there. He went on X and said, Good D had me effing two best friends, and I got caught. That's what I apologized for. It's sick how you spun it, though. Yeah, so that's the narrative that. he put out, and Megan said, effing two best friends, and you shot me. You know that's what you were apologizing for. You keep putting a narrative out there that me and my friend fell out about you, and that's not true. Why are you skipping over the shooting? Just admit you shot me because she definitely ain't do it and I ain't shoot myself. So Megan doubled down on Tori being the shooter. However, it did later on come out that she and Kelsey did fight about Tori. And Kelsey was very upset about that. And she even expressed this in one of her live videos. Come to find out, I come to find out, your ass was fucking with him behind my back that I was on first. And that ain't right because you're supposed to be my best, you're supposed to be my best friend. So Megan sleeping with Tori actually led to the altercation between her and Kelsey because during that night, Tori actually revealed that he was sleeping with them both and Kelsey and Megan started arguing and things got physical between them. In fact, one of the independent witnesses, Sean Kelly, said that he saw the girls fighting. They were fighting. Also, another witness named Jaquan Smith, who is Tori Lane's driver, 
said in his affidavit Girl, that they were fighting and he was the only sober one that night so he remembered he said miss pete who's megan the stallion started the argument again and miss harris who is kelsey nicole asked what was going on mr peterson who is tory oh. lanes told her that he and miss pete had been dating and intimate Ms. Harris was upset by this, as she and Mr. Peterson had been dating in the same manner prior to any relationship with Ms. Pete. Ms. Pete and Ms. Harris began fighting. I pulled over to stop them. Ms. Pete and Ms. Harris both got out of the vehicle and continued to fight, both verbally and physically. I broke up this fight and was pulling Ms. Pete towards the back of the car. Jaquan went on to say that he saw Kelsey with the gun in her hand and Tori ran over there to disarm her and they were struggling over it and he was still trying to hold on to Megan and shots rang out, so he didn't see who shot the gun but he saw everything that led up to it. So the whole piece about Megan sleeping with Tori shouldn't be important, but it is because it's actually what triggered the altercation between Megan and Kelsey, which subsequently led to shots being fired. And Tori claimed that he did not apologize for shooting Meg. He apologized for sleeping with both her and Kelsey. So even if he's lying about apologizing for that reason, it can't be denied that he slept with both friends because Megan pretty much gave credence to it, which is why Gail asked about it in the first place. So that's the reason why Megan lying about that became a big thing. Not to mention, she also made it seem like she didn't fight anybody. She said that she didn't put her hands on anybody. But based on what the witnesses said, they saw Megan fighting. I never put my hands on anybody. I never raised my voice too loud. Like this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated. So there has been some discrepancies in Megan's story. And this is not to say that she did not get shot at because she did and she got injured so let's make it clear she absolutely got hurt in the situation but the details around it is a little sketchy and tory lanes is claiming that he is innocent he currently is trying to file an appeal in fact he submitted a writ of habeas corpus to the court and in the document he claims that there was some missing evidence that prevented him from proving his innocence there was some evidence that was also sealed so he didn't have access to it also another thing his DNA was inconclusive on the gun, and his DNA was not on the magazine of the gun. Now, if he actually owned this gun and shot the gun five times, it would produce a much different result. His DNA would absolutely show up at an overwhelming percentage, but the results say otherwise. So it does raise questions on whether or not he really shot the gun. Also, it's been implied that Kelsey might have been the one who actually pulled the trigger. So currently, Tory's petition is being considered for review. Now, this doesn't mean that he's cleared. It doesn't mean that he's innocent, but it is going to be considered to be reviewed. So that is what's happening now. But anyway, tell me what you all think about this. I'm just so tired of hearing about this case. I read to a million videos about it. It's been years at this point. This nigga in jail. Whatever appeals he's trying to do, or whatever he's trying to sort out, holler at me when he get out. <laughs> you know, then, then we could talk about it. It's something new to talk about. But y'all, y'all, I'm just at this point over it. And I don't even know why this brought up a conversation about this whole situation again. Because like I said, if you even knew anything about the case or Meg Tory around that time, you should have had enough sense to know that she lied. <laughs> she lied and I clocked her when it, when it happened I said I didn't trust either of them when it happened because I'm like mm, her story ain't making sense mm, this happened so you lied about this and da, da, da. I, we already went over this so I'm like I don't understand why this is being brought to the forefront again just because it was mentioned on the documentary it's like we already knew but uh, sure you know, be good to thug he's home and we'll see what type of music he puts out because yeah it does seem a bit strict can't rap about gang activity and drugs and guns and stuff. So what you going to talk about? Because <laughs> that's pretty much all you've been talking about. So, you know, this will be a challenge for him. But, you know, he might be up for it. Who knows? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!